What is going on my Cardano friends? It's your friend Jack here and today I'm joined by Stale. We're going to be showing you how to set up a Cardano node. This is going to be part one of a few parts. You're going to find the playlist down in the description. But that being said, let's get right into it. And today I'm Stale's guinea pig and he's going to be walking us through how to set up our very own Cardano node. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Welcome Stale. Okay, so I guess I can just start. So um, yeah, essentially, a Cardano node is, uh, we're going to be setting up a relay node. So it's not like a stake pool or a block producer. And essentially, it can just interact with the, the blockchain using the command line interface and stuff. So we'll use this to get data from the blockchain, mint tokens, send transactions and such. So uh, I guess to start, there's this coin cashew link, which which just describes and, and uh, instructs very, really well. So it has all the, I mean, we're just going to be reading out this guide for the, most of this video. So yeah. Yeah. So, but first of all, you need uh, a VPS, which allows you to run your node and your code um, remotely. And it should have good network uh, connection and uptime. So uh, I personally use Contabo. You can use AWS or, or, or whatever, but for the sake of this tutorial, we'll, we'll just show you how to set up a Contabo um, server. Uh, and for, the, for, for, for a relay node, I would recommend the VPSM with 16 gigs of RAM uh, should, should be enough. It's about, as you can see, $12 a month. So we'll just grab that. Yeah, so you can leave most of this default. So yeah, just get a month, leave it uh, Germany, it's just cheaper. Um, storage type, you can leave as SSD. Uh, NVMe is just a bit faster, but you get less of it. Uh, you want to choose Ubuntu here or <laughs> however you got them say it. <laughs> Keep it default like that. And that should be all you need. Yeah, and then you can pay for it and we're going to resume the tutorial after I have paid for it. So once you get your VPS, um, if you're using Contabo, you'll be emailed the data. Um, otherwise, you know, whichever service provider you're using. But yeah, once you've got your details, I like to use Visual Studio Code to connect to the server, run my code and, uh, and edit everything on there. So go and download Visual Studio Code. It's, a, it's pretty lightweight and you can get it on uh, any of the platforms you're on so windows or mac whatever you're using jack i'm using windows but i already have installed but yeah just click on the install and it's a it's pretty quick yeah. takes two seconds to set up just follow the setup guide and then then, then launch it up <clears throat> i'll launch it up right now yeah so you want to install remote ssh which is an extension uh so you click the little extensions part exactly and then type remote space s h s h nice install the top one once that's downloaded or installed to click the icon that just appeared in your on the side on the left the remote <laughs> under under the extensions on nice all right and then click the settings the cog yeah click that the top the first one all right, and then you want to put here um, the information. So for host, you can call it whatever you want. So call it VPS or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, for host name, you want to put the IP address of the server you just uh, purchased. And for user, you want to put root. Nice. And then uh, save that, control S. Or and you then can, you yeah. control S or, or go in the top like this if you don't want to use the shortcut. <laughs> exactly that. So you can then click the bit that says VPS there in your SSH targets on the left. Ah, uh, yeah. Here yeah. we go. And then cl right click and just press connect. Yeah. Cool. And then, yeah, Linux. Uh, yeah, just click that. Uh, continue and then put the password that you were received as well and press enter let's go step one of being a hacker man complete <laughs> all right 
So then click the like the little file icon in in the top left, but not the actual bit that says file. Yeah, that one. Oh, there we are. And then press open folder. Um, yeah, and then press OK. And now you can see that you are inside the. Ah, put your pass in again. There we go. Keep that one handy. <laughs> yeah, just set yes. Uh, yeah, that one as well. Cool. So now you're actually in, you're connected to this machine. Uh, so we can install the node here, run all your code as well. Um, there's also a coin cashew guide on like setting up your user. So ideally you shouldn't run your stuff from the root user. You should create your own user. So you can follow this entire guide if you want to be really secure. Otherwise you can just follow the first part, which is, um, create a non-root user with pseudo privileges. So just grab all this um, information. So just, yeah, press the copy button. Do we need it? Do we need this one up here? Oh, wait, we've already SSH. Okay, yeah, so, we, so we've already, we've already SSH, which just means connected, like remote connected to our server. Uh, so what we want to do is create a new user. So we can copy this part, go over to your, your VS code, click terminal in the top, new terminal, and then paste uh, that there. You can control. do control V or right click. I think also yeah. paste or right click yeah. also paste. Yeah. Oops. Nice. All right. So, so just enter and then go back to the guy. You have another copy button and then we'll paste it with right click, enter again and set your password wherever you want to be. Spaghetti something like that nice and then after that we can go back to this and we can add it to the administrative group for our machine there we go cool and uh, i don't know do you want and i don't think we really will need much more than that because we're just running a relay node uh so we're not running a stake pool we're not holding you know, we don't have people delegating to us. It's just a relay node to process our own transactions. Um, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, I mean, depending on what you're doing, you might want to finish the rest of this guide, but you should be you should be good. Um, depending on what you're doing, so let's just head back into Visual Studio Code, um, and then you can type S U space Cardano. So this will um, try log you into terminal. Yeah, and then go back into Coin Cashew, and uh, and yeah, yeah, just start. So, so yeah, follow follow the steps here. So, uh, run your this. <laughs> this will just install the pre uh, prerequisites or whatever the requirements. <clears throat> I press Y and then press Enter. Nice. And then go to step two. Copy, right click, um, paste, and then enter again. Non root user. Oh, uh, you got to do SU space Cardano. I see. Now we could run it, right? Bro, oh, the, the, okay, 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 cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good there now. we go. Now it works. All right, and after this step is finished and your VS code is done and you are back to your command your command prompt here like this, you can just go back to VS code and follow this next step, copy it, paste it with right click. Didn't I didn't copy it. Copy it, paste it and then enter. And then I believe we can go right to the next step to correct still. Yes. Yeah. Once again, just copy, oh. paste with right click. So this one's going to take a minute. Um, just wait it out again and wait till it's done. Okay. It's done. Oh, real quick. Make sure you click enter to go into your Cardano node directory. And then we're going to go back and 
copy the next one. But are we gonna change this version? Um, let me see. 1.30.1 um, we need? Yeah, 1.30.1. Okay, so if you're, if, yeah, so we're just gonna change this to the latest version, which right now is 1.30.1. 1 .1. Just gonna open a new file here, um, just to paste it in here and change it. Uh, just 30.1. Then you can copy it with Control A, or you can highlight it like this then copy and then paste it back in here with right click if you guys are watching this tutorial and it's not within the time that it is uploaded you can go ahead and just check the release the latest release for the cardano node right here above my head and you're going to see it's 1.30.1 .1 on september 28th there's going to be a link to this github repo so you can always check the latest version by looking at the right hand side here and that's how you check the version to make sure you're typing in the right tag that you're getting for your Cardano node when downloading the GitHub link. So that actually may have taken you over an hour to build this, but now after you've built it, you can simply go back to where we were before and then copy the next line on the coin cashew guide, go over to our command line or our terminal in VS code, right click once again, enter it, Enter your password. Uh, that did not work. It did work. And then after that, you can go ahead once again back to the Coin Cashew Guide and just check your version. Make sure that we got 130.1 .1 in there. And you can see we do have 130.1. .1. After that, you just go back once again, go over here to the auto starting section and we're going to copy this again basically we're going to auto start the node when the computer reboots so if it ever goes down for any reason it'll automatically reboot itself and if it ever crashes it'll automatically reboot itself just to have better uptime on our relay this is more or less important especially when we are running a stake pool or anything that needs constant connection to the latest uh, values of the network and to stay in sync with the network. Um, but it's going to be something you definitely want to do. So just go ahead and copy this value and then paste it over here in our terminal. And then that's going to take a sec. Now it's done. And we can once again go back to the coin cashew guide. We're going to start our node now. So we're just going to see if it's active, making sure everything is going all right. So let's put this command in. It is inactive right now because we haven't turned it on. So we're just going to go back over here. And we are going to view the restart button, or the restart copy. We're going to copy this, and this is going to reload or restart, or in general, just start the node to get it going. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, this is going to take a minute to really fully boot up, um, but we should be able to view it here by just going to the coin cashew guide and you can skip this. Uh, we already started the node uh, by, by doing the restart. Uh, you can do this, the reload restart or the start. Either way, it's going to start the node process. So same end result. After that, we have to install our guild live view. This is just so we can see our terminal and we can see kind of what's going on with our, our relay. And it's really simple. Once again, just this, these four lines of code, press the copy button on the right, go to VS code, go back down here, right click, and you're gonna see all that, no errors, no nothing, all good. And we can go back here once again, and now we can launch GL Live, G Live View and just see our relay status. So let's go ahead and do that. It's gonna take a minute. And as you can see right here, we have our relay and it's up and running. It's good to go. Now it may take some time to sync with the network. As you can see right here, our sync statistic is 0.1. So we're not actually fully updated. We won't be able to build transactions just yet. We are first gonna have to sync with the network. If you've used a data list wallet, you might've seen the syncing message before. 
but because we have a full uptime on our node, once we get up to that syncing point, we won't have to have, ever have to resync. We won't have to wait for our wallet to load, uh, or we won't have to wait for a relay to load. And it's just going to be synced 24/7 uh, as long as the node is running on the Cardano network, and we've paid for a VPS to keep it running. All right, Stale went to bed on us, but that's going to be it for part one. I'm going to have part two. It'll be linked down in the description if it is available, but you can also check my playlist on my channel. This will be in the playlist for the creating a Cardano node, building your own node. But that is it for part one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope it helped, and thanks to Stale for coming on. We're going to have him back in part two, don't worry, and we're going to be doing some more fancy stuff after our note is synced and after everything is ready to go. Peace out.